don't be a chicken. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks. Good morning. Today we're going to take and uh, take some of our templates we made out of the foam and uh, cut out some stringers and bulkheads and see what we can do with that and see how well that uh, those patterns are going to work for us. So we'll go ahead and get started and uh, we'll see how it works out. And then earlier you heard the rooster crow, so it must be time to go to work. There he is. We got this all squared up here and uh, I'll go ahead and mark it out. Had to Let's see how that looks. I'll have to lower it down to cut it. I did cut a piece off the end to uh, get rid of that piece over there, but we're not going to try to make our final cut with it being this high. That'd be too hard. Too hard to guide this all if you're not up over top of it, it's kind of hard to tell. Yep, that looks like a stringer to me after a few more cuts. Okay, in case you're wondering what took me so long, of course, then video and I cut out all that bad stuff. I needed another set of saw horses. My one set was tied up and so I was going to be cheap and run up to Lowe's and just get me another set but I that I would spend my money more wisely on uh, uh, lumber and stuff for the boat and uh, build my own saw horses. Uh, some stuff I had laying around. So, got it clamped down. We got it about ready. Got it down there where I can seize it. switched around, we'll get the other side. I put a straight edge on this side. This side I cut I just freehanded. Reason being that's in the bottom of the boat, right against the, uh, the bow there. So, um, and it's going to be raised up a little bit anyhow. It's not actually sitting on the fiberglass and to have that some sort of adhesive between the two. The top when I did a straight edge because that's where the decking's going to be. And when I put it all in, I'm lining up the top. So everything's level, and then 
we'll take and uh, and put our thickened or our epoxy in the bottom. But anyhow, I cut two, I cut this, and uh, I'm going to cut out my spots for the saw, and then we'll go over and see how it fits. All right, there it is. First one. Nice fit in the back. It's got about a half inch right there. But it looks good. Okay. Pulled up my, one of my bulkheads. I wanted to do these in one piece all the way across and key them up. But if I do that, it's going to take a lot more than two sheets of marine grade plywood. So I'm thinking that I'm going to do it this way because I have this left over and I'm trying to get every possible cut out of a piece of marine grade that I can. So. I'll cut this up and see where it goes. Let's go see how it fits. Okay, here we What I've done on this is I made sure that from this edge to this edge, all my cuts are square. And that way, this will stand straight up, this will, and so will this. You can see I've got my heights here and stuff. And uh, I, at first I thought I was going to um, make all my bulkheads and stringers keyed, but what I think I'm going to do is all the stringers will be one piece and then the bulkheads will be tied into them. But anyhow, you see how I'm doing it. I've got two, so I won't bore you with the rest, but what, I'll get the rest of them cut and then we'll start coating them with uh, resins. And uh, when I start coating them, I'll, I'll keep you posted. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.